And then, um, where do you think Gav you would be now if you weren't the pro boxer? Um, <laughs> so career wise, do you think you would? You know, is it? Cause are you a carpenter by? Yeah, by, yeah. by trade. Yeah, yeah. So probably, you... um, yes. still on site, still on building site, working like hell. Um, I was money mad when I was working, like um, always chasing the money sort of thing. So right. I was like, working flat out constantly, even when I was boxing, like I'd, I'd do my hardest, try my hardest to get the most of the money and everything else. Like, yeah. So I'd, pro- I'd probably be on site working my guts out there. Right. And then what about your hobbies outside of boxing? You know, like you said that when you were young, you, you know, you played football, fishing, you know, um, so do you still have got a lot of like hobbies? Um, when you're not fighting? Yeah, when I'm not training, I like to go fishing. And obviously, yeah, I, I can take my boy now as well. So that's even better. So, yeah. yeah. So, probably more, more so fishing. Um, I do have the odd uh, game of golf and things like that with the boys. Um, I do mm. enjoy that. But that's only a summer thing. I enjoy golf. I don't like playing in the rain and things like that. So, um mm. Fishing, I don't mind. I'll go fishing if it's raining. I don't care. I don't care. Like so, fishing is like probably one of my main hobbies, and then, um, and then golf is probably second. Yeah, right. So when you're fishing, then are you, are you are you completely switched off from boxing? Are you kind of is that at the back of your mind when you fish when you go yeah. fishing? Yeah, yeah. That's one of the things. That's one of the things you've got to do as a boxer. You've got to find one of them days. Where you have a day off and you just do, do yeah. nothing. Like obviously, yeah. yesterday was Mother's Day, um, mm-hmm. and we just went up for the day and just didn't speak about anything. Like, yeah, but yeah, just I, try to sort of normalize I, things. I, isn't? I, yeah, I, yeah. Boxing because that's all, all I do day in day out. And if someone speaks to me about boxing, I'm like, oh, I don't care. Like, I yeah, I, I do all day every day, and and that's all people want to speak to me about is boxing. Like, yeah. Do you get do you get a lot of things then when when you've got out in the past and they'll sort of like oh Gav I have a picture or they'll sort of like you know they'll say give me your best punch or anything like that have you ever had things stuff like no, that but obviously, no obviously people always ask for photos and things like that um, yeah. which is good it's, it's good to get recognised and things like that but yeah I've never I I would never turn down a photo or an autograph or Hmm. Ending right. It's good to see, you. and obviously, I'm doing something good for the community. Like where I'm from, like it's it's always bad things coming up. So a bit of yeah. bit of good coming out of the community is always good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And then your next fight. Uh, so you're on the end of the card of um, Joe Cordina, and is it Rakamoff yeah. for the super super featherweight title Rack-em-off. in Cardiff? Massive night, yeah, 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 yeah. It should be a massive night. Oh, yeah, that's obviously before we touch on that. Um, it's obviously it's a rematch with Craig Woodruff uh, for the British, um, like the title. So, like going back to the uh, the fight that you had your first fight back in September, how yeah. you know, how do you assess that fight now in, in hindsight? Um, in hindsight, they shouldn't have fought on that night, uh, the broken hand, mm. but um, yeah. That just goes to show I had a draw and I thought I won it by two or three rounds with one hand. So, um, mm-hmm. uh, I, honest opinion, I, I'd give myself like two out of ten, maybe three at a push for that performance. I boxed, okay. I boxed crap, like so. But mm. it was a good fight. It was a good fight for the fans. But this this time round is going to be totally different and it's going to be like a demolition job I am going to do on him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, the predict, so predict, predictions for, for for your fight then on on this undercard? Yeah, predictions is just a win for me. That's that's all I got. Yeah, I'm just gonna win by any means necessary. Like I, I'd rather leave that arena dead than and without the win. If I'm quite honest, like right. That's that's the way I'm going into this fight. It's like all or nothing for me into this fight. And yeah. I know. I know for a fact he 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 don't want it as much as I want it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 
And then, obviously, assuming that you know uh, that you beat Woodruff, uh, what would be your, you know your plans moving forward? Then would it be looking for a European title next, or would you be looking yes. for the world title, or you know? Yeah, so what's when your I plans? Beat, yeah, when I beat Craig on the twenty second, no. Um, the plan is um, Matchroom have offered me a promotional deal. Mm. Um, obviously, got to win this fight first, but. Um, be Craig on the twenty second now, and um, obviously leave them to the promoting and um, everything else, and just whoever they want me to fight, I'll fight. I'll, I I have never turned down a fight uh, mm. against anyone, and I don't plan on doing so in the future. Um, and I think I'm always in in entertaining fights, and always in like fan favorite fights, and that's why Matchroom want to sign me because. Obviously, it sells, doesn't it? And with professional boxing, people want to buy 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 the boxing for the for the fan favorite, like sort of yeah. fight, um, yeah, blood blood and guts and everything else, isn't it? Yeah, and the thing is as well, how 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 do you sort of see Welsh boxing at the moment? Then do you, you know? Do you think that there needs to be more stars? You know, and as you say, if you're going to sign with Matchroom, that's yeah. going to be great for you, and obviously for the Valleys as well have you know the next Joe Calzaghi or you know what I mean or whatever coming yeah, through so yeah. uh yeah like obviously we got we got Joe now and uh had come through on the 22nd now so we'll have two big names all the time in Welsh boxing to sell these shows out myself and Joe um yeah yeah you got Liam Williams who's who's lined up for a big fight in the future um mm. I'm sure he can get back um like boxing the big in, in big time boxing, he's he mm. deserves a, a big fight. Um, mm. so we got a couple of good lads, and obviously, all the prospects coming through. We got like some, um, uh, my gym mate John with us, uh, is another one. Uh, my other former gym mate, Kieran, Kieran Jones. Uh, mm. you've got Joe Morgan from uh, Mountain Ash, who's really good. Um, you've got you got endless amount of talent like coming from yeah. Wales mm, we can mm-hmm. we could, we could fill a big show like every couple of months in Wales um, with different different fighters on it so um, I think it'll be good for for Welsh boxing this show um, to show obviously the level of fighters we got in the country yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and this show is a matchroom bill I, I, I yeah. suppose yeah. yeah yeah it's a matchroom bill yeah. yeah, well, fingers crossed they can, you know, they can have regular, you know, um, cards in Wales because that's, I think that's what's yeah. been lacking, isn't it, really? Like the consistent big nights in Cardiff. I think that's what we need more. We need to see more of that, I, I think, you know? Yeah, 100%. Like we obviously got the small home shows and things like that, but they're not, they nothing compared to obviously the, the nights in Malta Point where, if you can remember Lee Selby headlining in, in them a couple of times. Yeah. Um, they totally different shows and um it's it's a certain kind of buzz about um these these matchroom bills and obviously the big shows in in, in the motor point and things like that. So I'm sure they can come back and we'll do a couple of big shows and hopefully um Joe gets a big fight, wins his title now, gets a big fight like the likes of I don't know, Shakur Stevenson or something like that. Um and we can maybe get Cardiff City Stadium. That'd be Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, to that'd, do that. That'd be amazing to get um uh that venue and um, pack out that venue. And I'm I'm sure we, we could do that. Obviously getting a lot mm. of Welsh fighters on there as well to pack it out. I think we could do that because the amount of Welsh Fans we got now as well back in us. Um, it's really good. The the part the last couple of years, um, all the shows I've been to have been packed out, and that's down to the fact of um, our Welsh fans and our Welsh supporters. Yeah, back in our boys, yeah, yeah. That's good to hear. You know, because you hear a lot about our, bo- you know, people will say boxing is dying, the UFC is taking over. You know, what 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 do you think about about that? Do you think that that Boxing, you know, uh, UFC is more popular than, than boxing now. It probably, it probably is because a lot of these top name fighters they don't want to fight these um, mm. other top fighters down to money. Like, if you want to be a, a um, be, and that's all down to Mayweather and the money side of it, um, mm. the aspect side of it. If you want to be um, 
a name in boxing, you will fight anybody, anyway, no matter what yeah. how money is involved. You just want a, a legacy like you sick and Tyson Fury now that, that, that come down to a 70 30 split. But obviously, mm-hmm. you sick took that offer because he wants, wants that legendary status, sort of thing. Mm-hmm. I can't see him beating Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is a different type of beast. Mm. Yeah. But that's yeah, you're right. You're right in what you're saying. I I think now, mind like to be to be fair, in comparison to like pre-pandemic, I think that because lots of fighters have lost years, this like this urgency, right? I need to I need to get in the ring. So we're actually seeing yeah. better fights. Be, I think because of of the pandemic, because you know, fighters yeah, are thinking but, shit. I've got to I've got to get a move on here because I've got, I've lost two years. Going you know? on the pandemic, um, yeah, a lot of fighters had to take fights they didn't want to take because they weren't getting fights so they were taking yeah. it was a lot of 50 50 matchups in in lockdown um true yeah and it was a lot better fighters in lot uh, fights in lockdown um and they got rid of that like that, that, that journeyman um sort of thing obviously you need journeyman in boxing because the first couple of fights you you've got to have them rounds to learn and everything else but once mm-hmm. you've had four or five of them fights you shouldn't i've seen a lot of these fighters they go to about 15 oh they haven't boxed anyone half decent do you know what i mean they yeah they, like they padded both. records then you mean is it yeah. like they sort of yeah that they lose and then you don't see them from it ever again so mm-hmm. um Obviously, we UFC is it's a 50 50 fight straight away, so obviously, ourselves, don't it? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, and then they've got like, is it they know Dana White as well? It's just like this one promoter, so like they can, you know, yeah. you said like, if yeah, yeah, and they're all under one, one, one banner, like, so, yeah, yeah, one banner. So the yeah. He, yeah. He, he'll say, Oh, um, do you want to fight so and so? And if you say no, he'll offer it to someone else, and someone else will get the opportunity, and not yeah. you. So, you gotta accept that fight. So it's not it's it's all about like promoting yourself and being like um uh the like the the likes of Conor McGregor and getting the most out of the sport and the, the most yeah. out of the thing else in that in that aspect. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. And then I know obviously going back to your career, um yeah. you sort of like envisaged or thought about like what you would do after retirement would you go into coaching or you know or is that sort of not even on the on the on the radar so to speak at, at the moment like you, you know, know your I thoughts I, I don't think I'll ever retire from like fighting when they go out like I said to my missus the other day I just like I like that much crap like is I think it's just built into like um mm. I'm mm. After, oh, I don't know I'm just gonna have to do something I'm gonna have to do like or something like that. I'm gonna have to carry on. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna have to carry on training and doing something. I might, might even get a little gym myself. Um, yeah, train the youngsters or whatever. But as for retiring from fighting, I don't think I'll ever. I don't think You'll I'll ever do it. Try. Yeah, it'll always be built in me. I'll have to do something. Well, I'm gonna have to go to the gym and spa and get yeah. a bit, bit of something up me because I enjoy it that much. Like when. When to sparring days, I, I I get so up for it. It's mm. unbelievable. Like I I I love that. I know the know the fight day. Like most people, like uh, shit myself on fight day. I'm, I'm buzzing. And I can't wait to go. You know if they yeah. said to me nine o'clock in the morning, right, get up and get get on. I I say yeah, come on, huh? let's go. Yeah. Whereas most yeah. people are anxious all day. Well, I I'm I'm buzzing. I'm I can't wait to go and have a fight. Like. Yeah. So you'll always be. You think you'll always be around. I think that's that's good though because like a lot lots of fighters like with Kell Brook at the moment you know he's going through a lot he's struggling so I think that yeah. you know even if you've got like, I, like something I, in the back of your like, mind I, yeah I, I was speaking to um I was up in Tony Sims gym the other day in Essex and I was speaking to um Kevin Mitchell about this and mm. I was saying that that's why it's probably a lot of depression in 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 boxing and you all see a lot of these fighters go turn to drink and alcohol yeah. because you always. You're always chasing that high. Like um, I, d- I don't think you'll ever get a buzz, a bit a buzz like you, um, mm. walking out to your fans and after you win, the 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 feeling you have in your body, no no drug or or, or drink whatever make you feel that way. And I think mm. it's what you're chasing, sort of thing. Um, that that feeling, and that's why I think a lot of a lot of these fighters get depressed. And obviously, um, 
when Tyson Fury retired, you, that's why you've seen him. He went off the rails a bit, and he did. All, yeah, all, all these fighters went off, they go off the rails because obviously they're chasing that, they're chasing that high, it's not because they're down and yeah. out. It's, it's, it's it. because of that reason, probably. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and I think that's where then you know, unfortunately, there's very few who can who can handle retirement. So I think if you could no. sort of, no. you know, like just sort of like as a friend, you know, like if you could just get some sort of idea in your mind now, and even if you're like, I'm going to coach, you know, I'll get my license or whatever, at least then yeah. Yeah. You, you can prepare then, you know, for that. Because like I did an interview with um the ringside, the chairman of the ringside charitable trust, and they, they do a great job um for right. helping ex fighters in who've you know who fallen on hard times and yeah, it's like yeah, yeah you know you kind of a lot of fighters a lot of mm. fighters do because you um as a fighter myself like mm. you start getting these paydays and uh, you start wasting money and like you have these lot of this money and you think that it's going to be there all the time and then all of a sudden you have got yeah. the money. You spent all your, you spent all your dough, and you you're gonna think to show for all your career. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's one of the, the things a lot of fighters do as well. They, they waste their money, and they think that money's gonna be there, all the time. So Forever. Yeah. Not, yeah. But... Yeah. Well, you know. Um... I think you know you've got your your, your head screwed on, so um, hopefully yeah, you know, I, you'll, you'll have I've that. I've yeah. invested in a business. Um, yeah, I've got a bit of savings, and like hopefully in the next year I can pay my mortgage off. That's that's the plan this year. Um, yeah, and to be mortgage free, but I'm I'm going to be thirty three mortgage free without any GCSEs. Never went to school. There's not a lot of thirty three year olds can can say not at all. So. Um, is a lot of people who've got good jobs and they'll be they'll have a mortgage up to their eyeballs until they're sixty. So if I can do that and, and I'll be I'll be a happy man. Like Yeah. Just 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 a, um something that you might find interesting, Gav. Uh, do you know what, what mortgage means? The word mortgage? <laughs> it actually means uh, death pledge. Yeah. I just the, Yeah, the, it I just... is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's, it's it's like a weight wrapped around your neck constantly. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, um, me being a full time fighter now, I, I the only money I get is from um, sponsors, and I just want to say a massive thank you to all my sponsors who, who help me out and give me money. Um, that that that's all I have. Uh, the money I have each week is from mm-hmm. sponsors, and I'm just paying bills out of out of that. So um, mm-hmm. without without them guys, it wouldn't wouldn't be possible. I'd be still on the on the building site now because. I, I'm. I didn't want to be one of the fighters where I use the the money I have from boxing to live off sort of thing. I want to use it for right. pay my mortgage off or using yeah. using it for 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 some, or business setting up a business or whatever yeah. else. Like, do you know what I mean? Do you want to give a give a shout out to any of your sponsors before we wrap um, up? Off the top of my head, with the L, um uh, two seconds. Let me find. I got a. I got a list. Um, yeah. So no I just want, yeah. I just want to say a massive thank to to uh, uh, Ginty uh, from G Force Telecoms. Um, Steve Morris. Um, he's a charity who've raised over hundred thousand for local, all different charities. Um, great guy. Uh, he started mm. in lockdown, just raising. Raising money for the NHS and that, and uh, he's gone and raised over a hundred thousand now for all little charities, local charities around the around the areas and things like that. Um, oh, brilliant! Yeah, I go feed me fit to sort all my food out. Um, best food about. Fair play. Um, we got PDS. Uh, that's um, John John Hanna, um, who's come on board, started sponsoring me. So massive thank you to you. Um, mm. Acorn Travel um, is a massive help as well for me. They sponsor me every every month. Um, mm. I got Chelsea then that does all my sports massages and keeps me in tip top condition. She gives me a massage every week. So massive thank you to her. We got 
uh, Tanex, um, just come on board now, sponsoring me each month as well. Massive thank you to them. Uh, we got SRS Resin UK. Um, massive thank you to them. They they sponsored me for the past couple of years. They have along with Mig Glamorgan Fork Truck Training Services. Um, mm-hmm. We got MC Environmental Skip Hire and All Light Scaffolding. And obviously my strength and conditioning coach as well, Richard Thomas, he's, he's, he's a massive help for me as well. Um, uh, made a massive difference to, to my um, training and uh, the way I make weight as well. I used to starve myself, whereas now I'm eating to make weight sort of thing. Yeah. God. Yeah, that's testament then to, to him and obviously the, the sacrifices oh, yeah. that you've you've made as well. Yeah, ma- like a yeah. massive sacrifice. Like, like without Richard, like I used to starve to make weight, whereas now I'm I'm eating like right up until I weigh. Like so, yeah. whereas before I used to starve myself the last week to try and make weight. Oh, I, I was stupid really. I didn't have no muscle left on my body, whereas now I'm nice and strong, like feeling like mm. I could do the weight below like so that's just a testament to him and how much work we put in over the past yeah. couple of years as well yeah yeah great well thanks Gav I know that yeah, um, yeah you know you're busy and stuff so you know thanks a lot for the chat I really yeah. enjoyed it, it and um, it was good it was good to have a chat I tell about my career has brought up a lot of memories for it, but yeah 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 I always like to start from the beginning so um, yeah best of luck with, with your yeah. fight in April and um yeah, perhaps we'll catch up, um, you know, post fight maybe. Yeah, that'll be pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay, then, Gav. Well, all the best then. And um, nice, but I'll see you soon, Red. See you soon. Okay. All right. Ta-da, bye. Take care, Ta-da. buddy. Okay. Ta-da. Ta-da. Ta-da.